and screw. Esther 4, 17. So Mordecai went his way and did just as Esther commanded. Sometimes we need to follow the advice of others. But most importantly, we need to follow the ways of the Lord. Oh, okay. Um, Daniel... Or Daniel eight fifteen. I'll tell you in a minute. Through eighteen. Daniel eight fifteen through eight eight fifteen through eighteen. No. Daniel five. Eight nineteen through twenty two. There we go. Eight nineteen through twenty two. Okay. Then I wanted to know the meaning of the fourth beast, different from the others, extraordinary and terrifying, with iron, with iron teeth and bronze claws that ate tore into pieces and crushed underfoot whatever it re whatever remained. So this is a fierce creature and he's wondering who symbolizes this. And it's often thought and I agree that this is the Antichrist to come, this beast. Um or an embodiment, earthly embodiment of Satan really. Um iron at this point was the strongest material. Iron, bronze Two strong materials. Whatever came its way, it tore underfoot, which meant nothing could stand against it. I also wanted to know about the ten horns. This um, we understand as ten kings. We see that in Revelation, ten kingdoms. It had on its head, and about the other horn, which had sprung up and the three first horns that fell again this alludes to the Roman Empire um, being brought back up for the Antichrist to reign over it. it it can be debated what that is and about this horn with the eyes and mouth that spoke particularly the Antichrist here with arrogance that looked greater than the other horns. This shows that the uh, Antichrist will start as a ruler and just overtake everything. Um, the beast is himself could be Satan, but could be the Antichrist as well. Verse 21. As I looked, the horn waged war against the holy ones and was subduing them. This meant that he was beating the saints, those that remained, which at this time is understood as Jewish nation and the remaining of the church that is left in the tribulation but particularly the Jewish Christian Jewish converts to Christianity until the one of the great age this is Jesus came to do justice for the holy ones for the most high and the time came for the holy ones to take possession of the kingdom this is the messianic reign this is Christ setting up his kingdom and this is what he's seeing he's seeing the world winning and setting up a grand kingdom, but then it causing chaos, and then Christ coming, setting up his kingdom, giving peace. And that's the way it is. This world can lead to chaos. God always brings peace. Even though there's trouble now, can be trouble from us following him, we can have a peace from following him as well. 